pony. I think it right that you should have the attached, and perhaps you'll find it an interesting, if painful, memento of long ago. Mrs. Ford's will describes the item as a diary. The diary. The sense of an ending is about um, time. It's about the passing of time and the way that it holds us in our lives, the way we sort of perceive it, and memory. And I think those are the two sort of main main themes and how we remember things, how we choose to remember people or relationships or times in our lives. So it's really it, it, it's it's about I think it's you know it's a really fascinating exploration of of the sort of story we tell ourselves about our past. Veronica and I were together. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Exactly, yeah. Then in my school days, I met my best friend, <laughs> Tony Webster. I made you in Finn. I read it about a year before, and then when I got sent the script to read, I, I sort of hadn't realised it was that. You know, as you know, and sort of, and then halfway through, thought, this is very familiar. Have I dreamt this? And then realised that it was this book. And so, yeah, I, I was a huge, huge fan of the book before, and then after the script, I read a lot of Julian Barnes's books and he's very quickly become one of my favourite authors. So, <laughs> what a great, you know, what a great discovery. My best friend mysteriously died. Who's to blame for this event? Something is certainly going on. What is it? What was going on? You're on your own now. What Nick's done really well is that these characters that are sort of, um, you know, passing by in the book that are, are mentioned, you know, very few times, like the daughter and the friends and even Margaret, that they all become these, you know, they become these kind of like pillars in the script. And I think that's such a you know, feat to be able to, to do that and still remain so true to the book's essence and the book's kind of feeling. So yeah, no, it's, it's a really fabulous um, adaptation. What were you doing there? We may never know the truth.